Final race at Happy Valley then on Wednesday night. Race number nine, 1,200 metres again, and again, a Class 3 contest. Headed by California Deep Shot, who was beaten favourite behind Beauty Spark last time out, gets a five-pound pull. Super Commander makes his Hong Kong debut. A winner out of South Africa, Little Bird. Roll forward for Barrier 9, possibly. Shoots on a three-time course and distance winner this season. Also behind Beauty Spark last time out, who had that win from Barrier 4. Gets Barrier 4 again. Victory power from the wide gate, 12 for him. What a legend uh, in this class. Well, he's a two-time winner in Class 4, but nothing in this class, and good for you. He's also had a good season with two wins. He gets the inside uh, gates. Now, as far as the horses on the road are concerned, Urban Dancer is the only one. He's had one start so far, finished ninth on debut behind Fantasy. Now, I've made a way to the touchscreen, or I've made my way to the touchscreen to have a look at the uh, the speed map, but Mark will help with us as, uh, as well. As far as the speed is concerned, well, this very rich man will probably find um, the rail from his gate, and California Deep Shot may be following across from a wider draw as well, Mark. Yeah, I think he might nearly get out far enough for a rich man with the draw, Andrew, to lead, and California Deep Shot may have the room to drop in behind him. They do look to be the lead pair in the race. Now, if that happens, Little Bird, who is three wide, could press on and sit up outside a very rich man in California deep shot, which will again give Shusan cover. He looks to be going to be in the perfect spot, Shusan, no matter what happens. But it should be the 11 or the 1 leading, but with the aid of a better gate, I think very rich man Paul might be in front on his lonesome. Right, here's the track work here with the California Deep Shot. The first one we're going to have a look at. His work's been really good. You can see he's under a decent hold as well. Uh, look, he goes really nicely in his work. He's been going well all season, so uh, nice piece there from him. Uh, what a legend. He's going really well at the moment in his work. Now, he, he had excuses last time from a wide draw, so I do think he's up to this grade, and you can see he's really pulling his way uh, forward and going on with it there. So he's a very keen horse. Comes in with a light draw and a light weight. And good for you. Uh, getting on in age now, good for you. Uh, comes in here with a light weight. It's got 113 with Dylan Moabord and uh, Barrier 1. So he's another one who's going to get his opportunity as well. All right. Well, let's have a look at some of these um, horses in action uh, first. Starting off with some winning form as well. There's a few horses in behind. Now, they're better off at the weights this time round, but Beauty Spark was the winner, getting up on the inside here in the whitish uh, cap. The other horses to take note of, California Deep Shot, who runs second. We've got uh, Shusan finishing in third, and the horse very prominent to, you imagine, be prominent in the speed map, and that is Very Rich Man, Mark. Yeah, he uh, is in those green and yellow colours. Shusan and California Deep Shot come up. Beauty Spark gets the rail now. He's up six pounds this week, Beauty Spark, but he did come from behind the other two, Paul, and run past them pretty easily in the last 100 metres. Yeah, it was a nice run. He got the perfect run through, though, didn't he? And he did uh, hit the line strong. The other two have been going really well all season, California Deep Shot and Shusan, so they're both good chances as well. All right, he does get that uh, same draw as well. Barrier number four for Beauty Spark. Victor Wong in the saddle once uh, more. Next horse to take a check on is uh, Victory Power. Now, Victory Power's had a good season, is a course and distance uh, winner, but um, gets in with the, uh, the lightweight here, but also has to contend with a, uh, a widest draw as well, a barrier 12. Yeah, he'll get back from his barrier number 12 victory power. Look, he's nine seconds from his 27 starts. Only a one-time winner is victory power. He'll get back, he'll be running on. He always runs his race, victory power, Mark. He does, Paul. He's consistent, as you can see there on the inside. But he had the perfect trip this night. He's been able to hang on and run third. He's not going to get that trip come Wednesday night, Andrew. And I think it's a lot harder class three than what he was in last time. All right, he's currently around 15-1 to 1, uh, victory power, but he, again, he has had a pretty consistent um, season. Douglas White, uh, the trainer. Last one we're going to have a look at. Back at the trials uh, for this one, it's Super Commander. Now, he makes his Hong Kong debut here, Super Commander. Uh, another horse out of South Africa, this one for Tony Millard. Uh, Fearless Warrior was his name there. He was a two-time winner at uh, Kenilworth, Paul. He was. He's 1,086 pounds. Uh, he's had uh, the two trials here. Cross Noseband will go on. And look... He trolls OK here, I thought. Look, he hasn't raced for a while, so I still want to see him uh, on race day. But, look, this, there is something there with this horse, I think. There is a bit of ability. That's Lucky Moore winning the trial. Red Elise, who goes round earlier in the night, runs second. And Sanquan Sank is wider out in the purple colours. But it has been a while since, as Paul said, he's raced. He hasn't raced since June. He did win the other trial, so there has been little wrong with the two efforts we've seen from him prior to race day in Hong Kong. All right. Um, so is he in inclusion, Paul? Who's on top for the last one as well? I've got to go with uh, what a legend in this race. Look, he um, didn't have much um, luck at his last start. 
He comes in with a light weight. I think he's up to the bottom of Class 3, this horse. He has won twice already at Happy Valley over the course and distance. And there's a lot of pace in this race. I think he can sit just in behind and he can finish over the top. So what a legend on top. Chad Schofield's been in great form as well. California deep shot. He's been consistent and already a winner this season as well. A shoe song. What a great season he's had. And uh, he goes ni he's going really nicely into this. And Beauty Spark. We saw him uh, come through the inside and hit the line strongly. So they, those three all come out of the same race. But I think what a legend can win. 10-1-5-7. Same trifecta as what they ran two weeks ago, but slightly a different order with a shoe son on top. He carries 128 pounds again. He was third behind Beauty Spark, beaten a length and a quarter. He beat Very Rich Band quite easily. Two starts ago, he carried 122 pounds in that. Zach Purton, John Moore, they combined. So five shoes on on top to beat number one, California Deep Shot. He's up a pound for that second behind Beauty Spark. He was only beaten a length in that race. Now, he is drawn 11. He hasn't much luck with barriers in his four starts. Two 12s, a 9 and a 3, and then 11 on Wednesday night. Felix Spark was good. He worked towards that win. He was racing consistently with placings and then beat California Deep Shot up the inside. And I threw in the newcomer, Super Commander, on those trials. A win over Halaku Knight and that third behind Lucky Moore we saw at the trials having its first start for Tony Millard. Karis Teton to ride and draws nicely in two. Same trifecta as when they last met, just a different order, 5, 1, 7 and 2. Yeah, look at all the money there for, uh, for Super Commander. He's um, certainly caught some interest there. We've all got the 1, 5 and 7 though uh, in the numbers there in the final event. I've gone the 5 on top there though, shoes on in the last. Now as far as the stats are concerned, uh, Paul, we're looking at the combination of Frankie Law and Victor Wong. Yeah, they, they team up really well, these two. They, these two, uh, they've had 15 runners, um, seven wins, a second and a third. So a, a win rate there of 47% when uh, Frankie does uh, use Victor. That's since the 2018-19 season. Looking at the horse, and that's the one in the last, Beauty Spark. They team up in that one as well, last start winner, Beauty Spark. So that's the stat for this week. All right, so as far as uh, best bets are concerned, uh, which are we looking at uh, as far as the best on the program is concerned, Paul? Well, I thought a, ho a horse called Sky Show, um, Zach Purden will take the mound, did ride him on debut. He said that the benefit of that run under his belt, he's dropped 38 pounds and he's trialled really well since. So he's only a three-year-old, coming to Happy Valley, I think looks ideal for him. So race five, number five, Sky Show, the best. The long shot, Lair to Wada come back to some of the form that we know earlier in the season uh, and at the end of last season in particular. So uh, race seven, number six, Lair to Wada. He's got a good draw and comes back to Happy Valley. I think that's the key for him. And uh, we'll do the play in that race with Victorium and Diamond Brilliant, two horses that are in good form at the moment. So the QQP, five, six and nine. Best bet, owner star late in the program, race eight, number 11. Been racing over further, then arrived at Happy Valley on the 4th of March and ran second over the 1650 behind Flash Famous from Barry number three. Dylan Moe rides again. He takes a three pound claim, so will carry 115 pounds. That's two more than he carried when second, two runs ago. He's had a start on the all weather and run second behind Righteous Doctrine, which is not bad form either because he is an all weather specialist. Bullish Glory in the first is suited by 2,200 metres. He was running on in at the end of that last appearance behind above in that race. He was fifth behind above uh, over 2,000 on the turf at Sha 10 last time out as well. The play, race two, Victoria Seeker consistent, enjoyable success downgrading, curling luxury the leader and bring it on on a reasonably impressive trial. Two, three, four and six to play race two. All right, best for me comes up in race number three, Happy Warrior behind focus last time out but I think he can turn things around with a five pound pull in the weights this time round. Race three, number two, and uh, each way for me is a race number four, Cool Celeb. Now, his wins have come on the all-weather. Not a bad effort on the turf last time at Sha 10 from a good gate barrier four. I think we can get some share of the prize money there. And the play, Happy Warrior Focus and Everyone's Elite QQP in race number three. All right, so that's it, boys, as far as Happy Valley is concerned. Back to Sha 10, though, on the weekend for 11, including the Queen Mother Memorial Cup mark over the mile and a half. Yeah, just a small amount of horses uh, nominated for the race, Andrew, with five in it, four of them from the John Moore stable. So, uh, yeah, unfortunately, Paul, not big on numbers for that feature. No, but I'm sure John Moore's happy. <laughs> He's got a good chance of going out, of course, of course, this being his last season. Yeah, Eagle Way backs up as well after a good effort on the weekend. Uh, final thoughts on Champions Day from the weekend, Mark? Yeah, great day. Weird day, I think, is the best way to describe it. We expected uh, the favourites to rock up and win. Didn't happen. All right, well, that's the show. Thanks for watching. Hopefully we can count on your company again on Wednesday night at Happy Valley. We will be racing to win.